I want to talk a little bit about my absolute favorite boating app that is completely free. Ah! Want to know the weather? Got it. Do you want to know the tides? Got it. Want to know the wind? Got it. The swell? Got it. The water temperature? Got it. Sunset? Got it. Want to know your latitude and longitude? Got it. Want to know if it's safe to go out in the water? Got it. The Boat US app. You don't have to be a member of Boat US to be able to download and use many of the features of their app. And that's what's really cool about it. So even if you're not a member of Boat US or you don't really care much for Boat US for one reason or another, their app is still probably the most useful app that you can get. And I'll tell you why. First off, one of the things I love about the app is right here on the homepage of the app, the first things that you see is obviously the option to request a tow. So you launch the app and you can hit that button to request a tow if you want to. And when you touch that, the really cool thing about it is it gives you latitude and longitude. So even if you're not a Boat US member, you're out there in some waters that you're not familiar with and you've broken down and you don't know exactly where you are, I know I don't know how to look up my Latin long on my cell phone. So even if you're calling 911 or you've got a VHF handheld, you know, or VHF marine radio that's not hooked up with DSC and all those other kinds of things, you can get on this called channel 16 and you've got your latitude and longitude right there from your Boat US app. Knowing your latitude and longitude is very, very important if you're requesting help out there on the water. Other boaters who are familiar with how to look up latitude and longitude and can plug it into their plotters can find where you're located or can help tell people where you're located. And the Coast Guard can use that information. And even if you drift or you stop making radio calls because you're busy bailing out your boat and putting on your, your PFDs or whatever in, in an emergency situation, they at least know where your latitude and longitude was where you started. And so by the time they find you, they can figure out which direction you may have drifted based on the weather. So just knowing that information, being able to share that information, that is very useful. And I do not recommend or suggest that this replaces having other types of safety equipment on your boat. This is merely a zero cost supplement to the other safety equipment that you might have on your boat. The other really cool feature I like right here on the homepage is the small craft advisory information. And right now I see there's a small craft advisory near me. Small craft advisory means you shouldn't take a boat out that's less than like 25 feet or whatever. Now, experienced boaters, they know what kinds of conditions they can boat in. But if you're a newer boater, small craft advisory means something. It means it's going to be yucky out there. It's not a good day to go boating. You're not going to have a lot of fun. So, the fact that it shows you whether there's a small craft advisory is great. Yeah, whenever it is boating season, my wife and I will be sitting there on the couch and talking about what we're going to do that day. And if she says, hey, is it a nice day to go boating? That's usually the first thing I do is pull up that Boat US app and see if there's any small craft advisories near us. If there aren't any, then I start digging in a little bit deeper depending on where we're planning to go or what we plan to do. And then you can see also, it tells me what the water temperature is, what the wind gusts are, the swells, what direction the wind is, when the high tide is. That's right there on the homepage. And then from there, I can actually look at tidal charts for the next several days, telling me when the high and low tides are, which that does matter for some boaters who do certain kinds of things. Across the bottom, you can just hit the menu and it tells you your current latitude and longitude. And there's a big tow button right there at the bottom as well. So another way to get in there to request a tow. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you in the comments below tell me about some better apps that are out there. But what I love about this app is that it's free. Just like Argo Navigation is free to help me navigate to the places that I want to go to. This app gives me information before I leave my house as to whether or not it's going to be a bad day out there on the water. And then also the assurance that I know how I can tell what my latitude and longitude are. And that if I have everything set up in here through them that I can request a tow right here through that app. 
very quickly. And I know what some people will say is that you should have a VHF radio with DSC and GPS connected, and that nobody should be out on the water without those kinds of things. And I do understand that. However, what I have found is that with many recreational boaters in my area of the Chesapeake Bay, many of them don't even have a VHF radio. And so there are a lot of recreational boaters out there who don't buy a lot of that equipment and don't think a lot about safety. And that's one reason why I think to myself, this is better than nothing. If you download a free app, it's a whole lot different than trying to connect some of those kinds of things on your boat. Downloading a free app to be able to just give your latitude and longitude and be able to call for help. I think that's a pretty huge step in the right direction. And I mentioned earlier about knowing whether or not it's safe to go out on the boat before you leave your house. This video right here, this tells you all about that. Watch this video.